Can you imagine anyone other than Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones and Han Solo? Don't you feel Al Pacino was practically born to play Michael Corleone? Well, there were some other actors considered for these iconic roles who ended up turning them down. Some of them regret turning down or missing out on such roles. Let's take a moment to look at a few actors who turned down massive roles. Tom Selleck in the 1980s, Tom Selleck became a household name. While he began his career in the late 60s and worked in film and television in the 70s, it was in the 80s when he had some of his biggest hits. This was a decade when he starred in films like High Road to China, Lassiter, Runaway, Three Men and a Baby, and An Innocent Man. It was also the decade where he starred in the hit TV series Magnum P.I. Selleck was at the top of his game and one of Hollywood's biggest stars. One of the roles he was offered during this era was the role of an archaeologist. That might not sound too great off the bat, but what if we told you this archaeologist was none other than Indiana Jones? He was offered the part of Indiana but turned it down as he was committed to his role in Magnum P.I. Steven Spielberg eventually offered it to Harrison Ford, who played Indiana Jones in four films, with a fifth currently in development. While some of us may have wished he took on the role of Indiana Indiana Jones, there's no doubt Tom Selleck has had a great career despite missing out on that significant role. In the 90s, he continued appearing in great films and TV shows. His notable film appearances include Quigley Down Under, Mr. Baseball, In and Out, and The Love Letter. His TV appearances in the 90s included recurring roles in The Closer and Friends. In the 2000s, he played Jesse Stone in three TV movies. He also appeared in a few episodes of Boston Legal as Ivan Tiggs. He continued to appear as Jesse Stone Stone in three more TV movies in the 2010s, but his biggest success in the 2010s and 2020s has been in the police drama series Blue Bloods, where he plays Frank Reagan. It seems for now that Frank Reagan and Jesse Stone is what we'll most know Tom Selleck for, but some of us can't help thinking how Indiana Jones would have turned out if he had agreed to it. Before we tell you more about actors who turned down massive roles, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Christopher Walken Christopher Walken began his career as a child, with his first appearance as Kevin Acton in an episode of The Wonderful John Acton when he was 10. His first film role was as a supporting cast member in the 1969 film Me and My Brother. But he really launched his film career in the 70s. He appeared in the Anderson Tapes in 1971, The Mind Snatchers the following year, and a brief role in Annie Hall in 1977. But the film that propelled him to stardom was The Deer Hunter in 1978. But around the late 70s, there was another role he was considered for. This film also made a star of the actor who eventually landed the role. He was asked to audition for the role of Han Solo in Star Wars. Many upcoming stars were likewise asked to audition. No doubt Christopher gave an excellent audition, but it was Harrison Ford's audition that won him the part. But missing out on Han Solo didn't halt Christopher Walken's career at all. In the 80s, he chilled audiences with one of the most terrifying Bond villains, Max Zorin, in A View to a Kill. He began 1990 as Frank White in King of New York, no doubt one of his most iconic roles. He's showing no signs of slowing down today. He had three releases in 2020, The War with Grandpa, Percy vs. Goliath, and Wild Mountain Time. He's also appearing in the TV series Severance and Outlaw, both of which premiered in 2021. Still, imagine how Star Wars would have turned out if he was Han Solo. John Travolta John Travolta was, without question, one of cinema's biggest stars in the 70s and 80s. It's hard to imagine anyone playing Tony in Saturday Night Fever or Danny in Grease. Let's not forget he also appeared in Carrie, Urban Cowboy, and Blowout. He also played Vinny in the hit TV series Welcome Back, Cotter. His career continued in the 90s with the Look Who's Talking films, but these weren't the roles that best suited his talent. This changed in the mid-90s when he was cast in one of his most iconic roles ever. But John had to make a choice. He either had had to appear as Forrest Gump or take a different role in a film by a fledgling independent filmmaker who'd only made one feature film before. No doubt Tom Hanks' performance in Forrest Gump was tremendous and it was one of the best decisions of his career to choose it. But John Travolta didn't miss out by turning down the role of Forrest Gump. That's because he read the script of Pulp Fiction and felt like it was one of the best he'd ever read. He ended up playing Vincent Vega in Quentin Tarantino's film, resulting in a major resurgence in his career. His dance performances in Saturday Night Fever and Grease were already memorable, and his dance with Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction became iconic. Burt Reynolds 
Burt Reynolds has portrayed some of our favorite characters in American cinema, whether it's Lewis in Deliverance, Bandit in Smokey and the Bandit series, or Jack Horner in Boogie Nights. But even Burt turned down some great film roles, many of which he later regretted. He was offered a chance to play James Bond, but he turned it down and told producer Albert Broccoli that audiences wouldn't accept an American playing the British secret agent. Nevertheless, he regretted his decision in later years. He was also offered the role of Han Solo before Harrison Ford's audition audition won him the role. He wasn't interested in it at the time, but likewise later said he regretted not taking it. He even had a chance to take on Richard Gere's role in Pretty Woman. He turned it down and was upset at himself years later for not taking it. He even missed out on Jack Nicholson's role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Bruce Willis's role in Die Hard. But there was one role he turned down at first and later changed his mind on. That was Jack Horner in Boogie Nights, which became one of his most iconic roles. Apparently, he didn't have a good working relationship with director Paul Thomas Anderson, and later turned down a role in Anderson's next film, Magnolia, as well. But after disliking a rough cut of the film, he later stated he thought Boogie Nights was a great film, despite his initial reservations. His role as Jack Horner won him critical acclaim, the respect of audiences, and even a couple awards. Reynolds died in 2018 at age 82. He's fondly remembered as one of America's most iconic actors. His final film role was as Chester in Defining Moments, which was released posthumously in 2021. Jack Nicholson is another great actor with no shortage of great film roles. Each decade of his career is filled with great films and iconic performances. But there were a few really great roles he did turn down. He declined the role of Michael Corleone in The Godfather, telling director Francis Ford Coppola the role should be played by an Italian. That eventually went to actor Al Pacino, who shot to stardom after appearing in the film. Nicholson was also considered for the film Bad Santa and loved the script, but he was committed to another movie about Schmidt and had to turn it down. That part went to Billy Bob Thornton and became one of his most well-known roles. Jack also turned down the role of Richard Nixon in Oliver Stone's film Nixon, which eventually went to Sir Anthony Hopkins. He also turned down the role of Father Karras in The Exorcist, which went to Jason Miller. He was one of the original choices to play Dr. Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs, which again went to Sir Anthony Hopkins. Would the film have been even more frightening with Jack Nicholson? We'll never know. And it wasn't just Tom Selleck who turned down Indiana Jones, Jack Nicholson was strongly considered for the role before Harrison Ford won it. Still, Nicholson has appeared in great films including Easy Rider, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Chinatown, A Few Good Men, As Good As It Gets, and The Departed. It's no wonder he currently holds the record of being the most nominated male actor in the history of the Academy Awards. Sean Connery Sir Sean Connery was an iconic actor who appeared in great films on both sides of the pond. For many, he'll always be the best James Bond, and no other actor can take his place. Yet there was a role in recent years he turned down despite being the first choice. He turned down Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings films, which eventually went to Sir Ian McKellen. The role would have required him to fly to New Zealand, which he wasn't willing to do. He later remarked he'd read the books and seen the films and still didn't understand them. In his native Scotland, he was also interested in playing the character of Winston in the TV series Still Game, which he eventually decided against. The role eventually went to Paul Riley, who was nominated for a Scottish BAFTA for his performance. Sean Connery appeared in many great films, including The Man Who Would Be King, A Bridge Too Far, Time Bandits, The Untouchables, The Rock, Finding Forrester, and The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. His final film role was as the voice of Sir Billy in the 2012 film Sir Billy. Sean Connery passed away in 2020 at the age of 90 and left behind a great body of work for us to remember him by. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think these roles were played by the right actors? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.